The public prosecutor's office finally decided today to break its long-standing silence. It seems there was consensus to try Representative Shido for the countless crimes he confessed. Furthermore, many demands have been made for Representative Shido to resign from his public position. Nationwide protests have begun in support of holding new elections, and an internet proposal has... I'm surprised so much changed in just one night. It's pretty impressive. But the kids... Merry Christmas! <laughs> huh? Why do you look so down? What are you crying about, Futaba? You guys get in a fight or something? <laughs> hey, Ryuji. What's up with this gloomy vibe? Where's our guy? Mako-chan, what's wrong? Um... <laughs> It's okay. I'll explain. What the hell? I don't comprehend. The hero who saved this nation is now living in Juvenile Hall? It's just how the system works. Don't let it get to you. I did my best to discuss the options, but nothing I said could change the outcome. Damn it! This can't be happening! Are we supposed to just agree to this? I can't do that! Me neither! I must object as well. Wanting to interrogate him makes sense, but the measures following were questionable at best. All that crap about his record and probation was bullshit! He didn't do any of that! Won't everything just cancel out if Shido tells the whole truth? That won't be enough. Remember what my sister said before? In order to overturn a sentence, you need definitive evidence that proves the subject's innocence. Evidence? How are we gonna find anything like that? I mean... <sighs> the police were in on all that crap too. So any proof they got's probably been destroyed. Futaba, is there any way you can use your computer to find information? I'll do what I can, but don't put too much faith in it. It's not some kind of almighty device. The Metaverse doesn't exist anymore, either. Boss, can't you think of another means by which we can help him? I wonder what Mona-chan would say if he were here right now. He'd likely laugh and tell us how foolish we all are. And he would say it in that high and mighty tone of his. That guy was real annoying. Now that he's gone, it feels... You know... Guess we really did count on him a lot. The hope of humanity. I wish I could do something to help our leader. Hey! Morgana'd be ashamed of us sitting around here moping like this! Honestly, I don't know what we should do. But if we give up, we'll never save him! Didn't he save all of you? If we aren't gonna act now, when will we? We gotta do something! Yeah, now's not the time to be hanging our heads. Hmm. What can we do without using the metaverse? Maybe we'll be able to find something if we search around. Let's just calm down and think about it. We've escaped death countless times before. There's no doubt we can do this. That's right. Let's go. We're gonna save our leader, no matter what it takes. Uh, all right.
Just look at them all party down there. They don't even know. <laughs> Guess that's fine. I wish he... he could be here with us. <laughs> that said, we have our cellular phones, yes? Was there truly a need to meet? Our next move's important. We gotta get pumped! <laughs> Besides, don't you think it's nice talking in person? Seems rowdier this year, doesn't it? We'll need to brace ourselves. I'm going to try contacting my father's associates. <sighs> Sounds good to me. Sounds like we're set. We must succeed, no matter the cost. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's do this. You're right. Hey! Yes. <laughs> Magnificent! But... you're confined in reality now. Even after you escaped the prison within your heart. What an ironic turn of events because you wished for the fortune of others over your own well-being. Still, it will do. You chose the correct path with your own volition. You did not compromise your beliefs for personal gain to the very end. The last arcana you have taken hold of is the world. It is the willpower to stand up in this world on your own feet, unswayed by no one. That will become the basis of hope toward a future with your teammates who share the same belief. Now that you've gained that power, you are no longer an existence that wanders alone. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest.
Long time no see. I have two great pieces of news for you today. First, we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido. He'll likely be found guilty. I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point. But thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the Metaverse's existence would be difficult, but I still find myself dissatisfied. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, you'll be free to go. That's right. Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. The others did everything they could for you. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. That wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. Regardless, the righteous phantom thieves are gone. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. Thank you. Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but... Saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. <laughs> that's not true. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? I suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... One more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this, but I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. I wanted to reform the system, but I'll have to leave that to someone else. Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. <laughs> well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Oh, that reminds me. May I ask you one final thing? According to your testimony, you could have stopped after taking Kamoshida down, couldn't you? Why did you continue acting as the Phantom Thieves? Perhaps I'm thinking too much into this, but... A thief who justly stole the hearts of others, and a criminal who controlled them for his own gain. It seems your destiny has been tied to Shido's for some time, and now it's finally settled. Doesn't this seem a little too perfect? It's almost as though someone planned it all. Be that this was your goal from the very beginning? A coincidence, hmm? <laughs> it's as though God was on your side. <laughs> if God even exists, that is. You know, this job has shown me my fair share of criminals and convicts. But if young people like you exist in this world, maybe things aren't as hopeless as they seem. I'm sorry for rambling. I shouldn't keep that man waiting for too long. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. Oh. Hey, you kept me waiting. Jeez. To be honest, I didn't really want to come. 
but Futaba just wouldn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? <laughs> It'd look bad on me if you did something again under my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick. not moving at all. Due to the railway incident this morning, widespread delays have impacted the various lines and... Another accident, huh? <laughs> Reminds me of that day back in April. Remember when we went to introduce you at the school? It's almost been a whole year since then. <laughs> Thinking back, that was pretty awful to you. Throwing you in that storage room all by yourself. And again, soon you're gonna be. Made some great friends here. You better thank them when we get back, all right? Whoa! Uh, you did it! It has been a while. Not bad. You look fine. I'm glad you seem well. Come sit over here. I gotta head out and grab some groceries. I'm sure you guys have plenty to talk about. Man, it went well, yeah? I'm so glad we didn't give up. This was certainly worth the effort. We didn't know what to do once you were gone. But then we realized something. Even if we don't have the metaverse or any other special powers, we can still change reality. We were running around everywhere we could since the new year. It must have been over a month. Not just us. Everyone who believed in you joined us. Thanks to that, we've got our leader back. What are you talking about? You're the one who took the hit for us. They treated you fine, right? Actually, did you lose some weight? It would be understandable. I've heard the food in prison is quite foul. So, what did you eat? Was it bugs? Fermented mackerel? Or maybe durian? You're missing the point. Eh, you're gonna get some good food soon enough, though. Boss is out getting stuff for our party right now. Come on! Everyone's back together. It's time to celebrate! Everyone... Well, not quite everyone. Right. Morgana. He may have been the key person on this whole mission. We even considered what he would do when we were about to give up. Mona totally would have done something, right? That cat would never quit on you. He was always there to pull us forward. Morgana truly was the engine of the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> he was a car after all! I want to see Mona again. Huh? That was quick, boss. Someone call for me? Mona?! What are you doing here?! I, I mean, didn't you disappear? Looks like the only me that disappeared was the one in the metaverse. Huh? So, you stayed in reality as a cat? When I woke up, I was out in Shibuya looking like this. That don't make any sense, though! I mean, if you were alive, you should have come back right away! I... It was right after I had said goodbye. It would have been awkward to come back so soon. 
it seems he finally learned how to be tactful. <gasps> He's grown! I knew you guys had found your witness, so I was just waiting for him to get discharged. Well done on that, seriously. You pulled it off even without my help. You've already returned to your normal, conceited self? I'm sorry I worried you all. Oh, can I borrow the shower before you all rush to hug me? I was stray for so long, I think I might smell. This ain't the time for a shower, you stupid cat! Give us our tears back! You are unforgivable. Mm, should stop it! <sighs> Talk about a harsh welcome. <laughs> this is how it should be. Matters are finally back to normal. <laughs> right. It's great that you're back and all. But what are you going to do now? Huh? Well, I've been thinking. About what? How to become human, of course. Oh, really? I might have learned that I'm not a human now, but that doesn't mean I can't turn into one. Plus, I think there's a reason I survived like this. Regardless, I'm glad to see you're safe. Now, this is just a guess. But I think I'm still here because you all remained cognitive of me, even after the world's distortions disappeared. You kept me in your minds. <laughs> and that means you guys think there's a place for me in the real world. Of course! This is where you belong, Mona! <laughs> She's correct! Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry for butting in and all. But we heard from Boss. You're going back home next month? Can't you stay here? Sure, we proved you're not guilty, but people are still gonna label you there, aren't they? Ain't it just gonna be uncomfortable going back? What's the matter? We were all so excited a moment ago. How about this? If our leader is leaving, the Phantom Thieves are truly disbanding, correct? Today, we can celebrate his release and commemorate the day of our disbandment. <laughs> what kind of commemoration is that? <laughs> I was serious when I said it. It sounds like a good idea to me. I guess you're right. We just gotta double our excitement for today. Ahem. I know this is sudden. But I've decided to go with him. He's pretty special after all. If I stay by him, I might be able to figure out how I can become human too. Plus, we need someone there in case he turns back into a delinquent. Leave it to me. Either way, I want you guys to add my farewell party to the one we're having tonight. I don't know. Is that important? You're not leaving for another month, right? It is far too early for a farewell party. That'll just muddy the purpose of this celebration. Then it could be my comeback party. Nobody can complain about that, right? I demand sushi! Sushi! Man, you guys are loud. I could hear you from outside. Oh, I was wondering why I heard meowing. The cat's back. Chief, they're so mean! <sighs> Noisy as always. Hey, I'm not some normal cat! I can't understand what you're saying to me, you know. Here. No! I would much rather have sushi than something like... <clears throat> this is delicious! <laughs> what an assertive little guy. I wonder where he got that from. If Morgana becomes human, he may end up just like him. Oh, I can see that. Totally possible. Me be like him? Well, that wouldn't be so bad. I definitely don't want to be like Ryuji, though. What was that? It's things like that. You get angry so fast. Oh, and your bulker. You little... Why don't you go disappear again? Uh, shut up! We're supposed to be celebrating, not fighting! 
They're at it again. The world's changed, but you guys are the same as ever. Seriously, that weirdo Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? In any case, we're all here. Let's kick this party off. <sighs> Very well. Tojiro, I want sushi! Right, today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young, ooh boy. <laughs> Good evening. Miss Kawakami? A teacher and her student. So this sort of thing really does happen, huh? Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. Hello. Thanks. It's been a while since I was here last. Would you prefer that I wear my maid outfit? Really? That makes me sad, Master. Oh, before I forget... I went through the trouble of buying a microwave oven just to make it. You know? Oh, I like your honesty. Shall I serve it to you as a reward? Hey. Welcome back, Master. <laughs> Good. When I heard from Sakura-san that you turned yourself in, I cried. You really are a problem, child. Tell me the truth. Do you regret being in a relationship with me? Did you respond to my question with a question? You get a zero on this quiz. Can I sit next to you? You're going back home next month? That means we won't be able to see each other at school anymore. In terms of status, yes, but... I'm the adult here, so... It'll be okay. I'll think of something. I waited all this time for you to get discharged, so there's nothing that can deter me now. Tonight, you're going to listen to my needs, and I'm not gonna let you be lazy about it.
What are you trying to do? There's no need to be modest. Forget it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fine. <sighs> Hey, you're finally taking off tomorrow. Sojiro said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. Who do you think you are? I bet he's just bad at saying goodbye. Is that so? Well, doesn't matter. Come on, off you go. I should write something. while you're of your body at least. Hmm. 
Wanna head back? You finished saying your goodbyes? Well, how'd it go? Did it make you feel like you want to stay? I see. You must have made a lot of good memories here. You're leaving early tomorrow from Shibuya, right? Make sure you pack up before you head to sleep. Oh, and take that stupid cat with you. I don't want her getting lost and ending up back here. Don't make fun of me. I can go wherever I want all by myself. Huh, it really never stops meowing, huh? Hey, Futaba, what's he saying? Is he sad that he has to leave me? He said, Sojiro stupid. What? What kind of translation is that? Let me have a nice goodbye. <laughs> Mona's your responsibility now. Leave Sojiro to me. All right, I've been counted on. Oh, boy. Even if you're not here, I'll make sure I do my best. So, you go do your best, too. <sighs> Thank you for everything.